What's up, good people? Hey everybody, Siki here, and I'm coming to you guys with another video. So I have some new sponges by L'Oreal, you guys, and this is my very, very first time using them, and I totally wanted to use it on camera so you guys can see if it's like totally worth the hype, if it's hot or not, if y'all wanna get it, you feel me? I'm gonna compare it actually to the sponges that I have as well, because I feel like when I'm giving you guys a review, it's better for me to like reference something, to compare it to something. You get what I mean? I don't know, like I can show you better than I can tell you. I always say that. Shout out to Beauty with Mika because she always keeps me up to date. Like if I miss something, she got my back. So I just wanna tell her thank you, all right? So these are the packages. I took them out because I had to wet them for y'all. But this is a concealer sponge and then they had a contouring and highlighting sponge and then a regular beauty blender sponge or beauty sponge, okay? So I'm gonna show you all of them. This one is the contour and highlight sponge. And y'all know, y'all know I have a thing for sponges. I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show y'all my beauty blenders in one second. And then the concealer sponge, I love the colors too. And then this one is the regular beauty sponge. And I am quite impressed. So this is my regular beauty blender and I'm gonna compare it to this one. Although I do have the Morphe sponge as well, but because I feel like more people have the beauty sponge or the beauty blender and the real technique sponge, I'm going to compare them to those versus the Morphe, all right? But the shape is very similar. But what I do like about the L'Oreal is that the point is more precise. Because remember when I did the review on this one, if you haven't seen it, I'll link it. But when I reviewed this sponge, I was saying that I wish the point was a little more pointy or a little more precise. And L'Oreal came through, all right? And listen, I totally thought it was gonna be really hard, but let me get the Beauty Blender. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but it is totally soft and I'm telling you right now, I haven't even tried it yet, but because I am a beauty sponge collector, totally getting some more because this color pink is different from the Beauty Blender pink. Actually, this is like a fuchsia color, so I want more, but before I try it, let me show you my collection. Shh, no judging, okay, no judging. <laughs> this is my beauty blender slash beauty sponge collection and not everything in here is like from the original beauty blender okay if I like the colors and I saw a company that sold the different beautiful wonderful like bright colors I bought some whether it was a dollar two dollars whatever I don't even remember where they're all from but this is what you guys see in my beauty videos because I have a thing for beauty sponges so I totally primed but I forgot to correct I got so excited about these sponges let me get with that real quick Okay, so today I am gonna use my Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I do have the L'Oreal Foundation, it's actually new. It is their Infallible Total Cover Foundation, but I do not feel like being a chemist today. <laughs> and I have a video all about this that is coming soon. If it's already up, I will link it um, in this top left corner right here for you, okay? Or actually, I think it's your right. But I already did a first impression and a wear test and all that good stuff, all right? But today, I just wanna go in with one foundation because really, I'm not doing a like major makeup look. Like, I'm not even wearing any eyeshadow or anything. I'm just gonna pop on a lippy and call it a day after this. So this side, I'm gonna use my regular Beauty Blender. Well, it's the new one, but it's still a Beauty Blender. And I always use a second coat of almost every foundation. The packaging for the L'Oreal sponges, it says to put it on the sponge first and then apply it to your face. I'm gonna apply it just like I do any other sponge and that is putting it on my face first. I'm trying to see, it's just as soft as my Beauty Blender, my gosh. It may even be a little softer. All right, here we go. I mean, it feels good though. I think this is a winner. I would definitely purchase some more of these. Seven bucks, I forgot to tell you guys, seven bucks. And I got it on Amazon because I don't think it's in the stores yet. Beauty Blender side and L'Oreal side. Now let's go on with the concealer and put that other sponge to the test. I don't know what's going on, it looked like it's stained. But on this side, I'm going to compare my Real Technique sponge 
to the L'Oreal Concealer Sponge. So they're similar, except for this one is definitely smaller, see that? But I'm gonna use one on each side. And then when it comes to contouring my nose, I guess I'll use this one since it's for highlighting and contouring. And I usually let my Too Faced concealer sit for a while. So while it's sitting, I will tell you what the box says. It shows you the areas for suggested usage. And so it shows the nose, the highlight, and then the contour right here are the hollows of your cheeks. And then on the beauty sponge, it's just all over the whole face, right? It's telling you you can use it all over. And the concealer sponge says that you can conceal around your laugh lines, around your nose, your brow bone, and then right here for those that have like dark circles or need covers right in there. Cause I usually don't put a lot of concealer in there, but I know some people do. So that's what it's telling you. Now, usually whenever I use my Real Technique sponge, I use this side to blend in my concealer. But today, since we're doing a comparison, I'm going to use this side. I have never done that though, ever. And it's quite interesting. And now this baby. Now I don't know what this side is supposed to be for. You tell me, but let's go with this one. Oh, you know, I should have used my Real Technique sponge that's smaller because they do have some smaller ones. Oh well, maybe I'll use it in another video. This is not too shabby. Dang, I should have used this one. This is the Real Technique ones, but it's way smaller than this one. I think I like that this one is bigger, but I can honestly say that I probably won't use two separate blenders to do my makeup because I always use the same one. Funny shaped, but not too shabby. You know what though? I don't know that I should set, this is too big. I'm just gonna do like I usually do with this side and set it. Ain't nobody got time for that. Cause it's kind of big. Actually, I feel like using this side of the Real Technique for under my eye when I use this side, I think it sheared it out a little bit more than I would like. I actually like this one. It's really weird shape, but I actually like it. It's not as soft as the beauty sponge though, the fuchsia one. Let's see. It's not, oh, it is not bad at all. Uh-oh. Got a little patch right there. Not sure what's going on right there. I wasn't really going to contour today, but I want to try that other sponge. So, oh, how are you supposed to? This is weird. It's kind of big. Oh, um, I don't know. This, is, this one is a little bit weird. It's hard to get in there. I, you know, it's hard for me to hold this right. Okay. Oh. No, oh, mm, yeah, oh my gosh. Uh, I think this one is my least favorite one. I don't really contour heavily, so that is pretty wide. I don't cream contour either, but that is pretty wide, so yeah, I don't know. So let's pack on this powder and see if we can see a difference in each side. So Beauty Blender and Real Techniques. And L'Oreal. Y'all like that? And no, just kidding. I am definitely gonna purchase some more of these. Seven bucks, pretty color, fuchsia. I like that. So I'm gonna set everything, throw on a lippy, throw on some highlighter, and then you guys tell me if you see a difference. So that is it with everything all put together. And I know I said I really wasn't doing makeup today, but I had to, had to, had to try this new lippy from Makeup Geek. It's called Saucy. Mm -mm. But um, I have lip swatches coming up. But anyway, so that is it for this video, you guys. I wanted to bring this video to you because I told you guys I like trying new products with you and I like to let you know if it's worth it or not. And right now it's only available on Amazon, so I will have the links in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. You guys have an awesome, blessed day, and I will see you sooner than you think. Bye. Tiki beauty, confidence is key, you know what I mean uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki beauty makeover hey. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Tiki beauty Yeah, Tiki beauty